what are those things? I, I'm intrigued. What are the what are your secrets? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd say one certainly is to have strong social support. You know, we have to have that wherever we are. And um, and talking about single women, particularly for single women to create their own. If you're not part of a couple, you're going to need to to certainly have that. So strong social support is one. Um, I'd say the ability to renegotiate roles. Let's say you're part of a, if you're part of a couple, you may have laid down things. I mean, I've been married a lot of years and we kind of figured out who's doing what as we were married and we had children and then as we got older. But then after we both left our primary careers, there were some, there was some renegotiating to do in terms of who was going to be doing what. Like I, I didn't, I do not like to cook. I hate to admit, and I don't like doing the dishes. I'd much rather cut the grass or do that kind of thing. So we oh, have cool. done some okay. big role reversals with that. So that would be another one. So um, renegotiate the rules. I've never heard anybody oh, talk. Not rules, roles. We roles. didn't really have rules laid down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but so renegotiate roles. your roles within yes. within the family, within the within the yes. If you have a spouse, um, if you're if you still have adult children living there, I'd say it's important to sit down. Um, one woman I had spoken to at a talk afterwards, she came up and said, "That's funny, you said that because she she was in a very high position," and she said. My husband told me now that I'm home all the time, I talk to him like I'm one of his employees ordering him around and it, it wasn't working so well. So that one sort of resonated with her about that. So that, yeah, that's re, 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 important. Reading your role, look, you're no longer a high powered executive. It's just, <laughs> well, it's nothing like, I, I, I can see having to renegotiate that if it's you're married, the kids are out of the house. But when you have kids in the home, you, you're, you're a, a low powered, uh, executive, no matter, no matter how high powered you are, even if you're the CEO somewhere, it, your kids don't treat you like the CEO, right? They don't care. They don't that know. Would be true. That uh, would be all right. True. So start, uh, so, so social support, yeah. renegotiate. What's, um, what's, 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 I'd, what's I'd say another trend? one, have something to wake up for every day. And that, that kind of gets the, to that idea of, purpose you know what is your thing to get up for every day they can be it can be very lofty you're trying to save the world or you're trying to save the turtles the turtles yeah. trying, save the turtles gonna go save the turtles and, and i went to the university of maryland so i'm a turp so that's kind of a natural fit that i went there but hey, it's not um, your fault little guy that you were the first <laughs> egg laid in this very deep sand cavern it's not your fault that you came out first you get the longest way to climb you got all your brothers and sisters on top Okay. <laughs> That's right. So um, I, I think that one's very important to have some structure to your day, but to have also obviously some free time built in. But what is your reason for getting up for every morning. I, I think that's a big one and have something to do that. And those things can be quite different from things you've ever done. So I, for example, for me, um, tennis, I, I like tennis and that goes into the next one, which is really have strong social support. A lot of these things sort of overlap, but we need to have that social support. And for me, tennis checks a lot of the boxes because it's also of course the exercise point of view and the living healthy point of view and it has the social support and it structures your time for you so that that's an important one to have something every day 